What's good guys? This is your girl MC, your favorite MC in the whole wide world. Coming back to you again with another catfish farming series banger. You already know where we are at. I don't need to elaborate this place. But in case you don't, I am at my catfish farm. Guys, before we get down the context of this video, do make sure to like comment subscribe if you're seeing this pretty face for the first time if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much you're welcome uh, stick around because i can just teach you a lot about cats fish farming let's get it guys um before we get down to the context of this video i just want to say uganda is on fire i i officially want to declare that my country my beloved part of africa uganda is on literal fire i used to hear these things these terms um climate change um global warming oh i used to think that they were so fancy and you know for jokes <laughs> who's laughing now it is hot pray for us so that aside weather aside climate aside i want to talk to you guys about the mission of being on the farm today as usual regular checkups um have to happen so we need to come on site to monitor and evaluate today we are carrying out second grading we need to keep grading the fish i think quarterly until they are ready for sale and catfish normally take about six to eight months to grow in the water you know to fully grow to a table size of one kilogram yes so that's a fact you never knew let me just tell you i've educated you today before they grow to the stage of one kilogram or to the table size of one kilogram you have to continuously come and grade grading means it simply means separating the big fish from the little fish so that the big fish do not eat the little fish if you guys have not watched my grading video i'm going to tag it somewhere on the screen below or in the description box make sure you go watch it to get a full idea of what grading is we graded one tank um, we found about three to four big fish in the tank that we have already graded so we have separated them from the little fish. kind of gaining interest on this farm and we had um what can i say clients not not clients but um the public because we are grading today this grading is not a small activity it's not something that you can go to your room and do no it's a very public activity in a very public area in a residential neighborhood so we had a little bit of the public coming around to ask questions to see what's going on and to see when the fish is ready you know so 
it was a little bit of an educative session today because the ceo is here so she was able to talk to the public about the process that we're carrying out um talk to them about catfish and whatnot and it was a really good experience it was unexpected but a good type of unexpected i guess so we had a little bit of a teaching session which was amazing it was so amazing and um yeah it's a very fascinating process even me if i ever see this somewhere i'd like to come and learn and we don't segregate if you want to come and learn you can even tap me literally just text me or type in the comments and say that i want to come and learn about catfish this fish farm is exactly for demonstration purposes as well as for business but it's also a demonstration farm okay if you guys don't know yet this fish pond is in a residential area it's in an estate so a lot of people are staying in this area we got a call from our immediate neighbor very nice guy by the way he was polite about it he's like um there is a certain smell coming from the ponds and the tanks and it's really affecting me and my household we don't know what to do um so he was just genuinely informing us about the situation as a business owner if someone complains to you that something is happening in your business and you don't react that is your loss like what we didn't expect this water to behave like that to smell so bad as to affect other people's livelihoods no way so we called the consultant and we're like people are complaining that the water is smelling bad and the farm worker is not complaining himself so we're a little bit alerted because we're like how can the neighbors be smelling the pond and the farm worker is not so anyways it was kind of like you know a reactive situation we called the consultant and um we're like people are complaining that the water smells bad what do we do the consultant is like usually when the water starts smelling bad it means that there's high levels of ammonia in the water by the way guys i've dealt with ammonia <laughs> it doesn't smell nice so i can i can imagine what the neighbors are going through so he said there's um they probably might be high levels of ammonia so we need to go and check it out and refresh the water release the water the the dirty water blah 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 and refresh it with new clean water I don't know how I'm going to make sense of this video. I don't know the editing process. I should make a YouTube video about my editing process because I feel like it's wild. I feel like it's wild. My editing process, my ideation, everything about content creation. Yeah, I think that's a good I idea, I think. Yeah, anyways. So guys, remember one of my videos when I literally say that I have so much respect for our farm worker? The guy is innovative. Literally we didn't have a gate we didn't have a fence that was the situation of the farm meaning anyone could come and enter as they please and go as they please which is so risky it's a security threat not only to the worker but to the fish you know what the guy did he used local materials ah man, this man eh? i really i adore him for that he used local materials and he literally built a gate out of wood is it timber yeah out of wood and um a polythene paper it's a temporary structure of course now which sets boundaries until you know we we get on our feet to build a fence and gate but what i'm trying to say is that be innovative yeah be innovative all right guys thank you so much for sticking with me throughout this video i hope you guys have enjoyed yourself and learned thoroughly I welcome any questions about catfish farming because y'all I'm getting to that level. In fact, I should go and get a PhD in catfish farming. Not even from my school. I should get it because of life experience. As usual, guys, if you have any comments, inquiries, suggestions, uh, whatever about catfish farming, drop them into the comment section below and I will be sure to respond to each and every one of you. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Do make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you're seeing this. 
say it's for the first time if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much i welcome more and more of you and as i said keep tuned because i can really teach you a lot about catfish farming see you all and mc out